Hello everybody and welcome to my pool. With the school holidays coming up soon, I'm sure you're all planning your trips to the beach or dreaming about playing in the pool. I think you'll agree that there's no better way to cool off in the summer than to play in the water. Whether that's at the beach or in the pool or at Ushaka or even a sprinkler in the garden. For some people, there's no substitute for the beach. They love the sand, they love the quiet, but most of all, they love the waves. If the wind is blowing, you can get some pretty big waves, even if it's shallow. It's fun to play in the waves, but it can also be a bit tricky. It can be a real challenge to stand your ground in those waves when you're little. And sometimes you find yourselves getting knocked over by the really big ones. But what happens when you grow bigger? You get stronger, you're able to stand your ground and you're not as easily knocked over by those big waves. In today's lesson, I want to challenge you to go deeper with Jesus. I want you to grow in Christ and to strengthen your faith. As we'll read in today's scripture, God has a very good reason for wanting us to grow in our faith and become strong believers. In Ephesians 4 verse 1 to 6, Paul describes something called the body of Christ. And he isn't referring to Jesus' physical body, but he's rather talking about you and me having a special role to play in God's family. In 1 Corinthians, Paul describes us as one body with many parts, saying that we all have a role to play in the church. Here in Ephesians, Paul takes it a step further. He's saying that we need to grow in our faith and become strong so that we can do that work. Sadly, some people believe that asking Jesus into their hearts is all it takes to be a Christian. They ask Jesus into their hearts and then do nothing else. And although that is a very important part of being a Christian, there's more to it. These people, as Paul might say, are Christian babies who can't stand up to those waves that knock us up around. They are unable to fill the part that Jesus wants them to in the body of Christ. Let's pretend that I've hurt myself and I need one of these. I'm sure many of you have had one of these on before. And there's a reason we need casts and braces and slings when we're injured. It's in order to heal our bones and joints. We have to immobilize them, which means keep them from moving around. It can be a challenge to do things without an arm or a leg for a while, but it's really important to let these parts of our body heal. And what happens when that brace or cast or sling comes off? The arm or the leg isn't as strong as it once was. We need to use it and exercise it and rebuild it to make it strong again. We are the body of Christ. We are the hands, arms, feet and legs of Jesus here on earth. We are the parts that make up the whole. Just as we need every part of our body to be healthy and strong, God needs us to be spiritually healthy and strong to be part of the body of Christ. How many of you have seen a little baby? I'm sure most of you. Babies are really cute, but they start out completely helpless. They need help feeding themselves, dressing themselves. They need to be rocked and held. They can't even hold the bottle to feed themselves. As babies grow, their muscles get stronger. They learn to sit up and roll over. They're able to grab things and learn how to control them. They go from being helpless babies, unable to feed themselves. And then they learn how to crawl and then how to walk. And the more they grow and mature, the more things they're able to do for themselves. All of you are still in that growing process. You're doing new things that you couldn't do maybe a year ago. And two years from now, you'll be doing something that you aren't able to do now. Trying new things and taking new responsibilities is all part of growing up. Just as babies grow up, God wants us to grow as believers too. He wants us to grow in our relationship with him. 
by reading the Bible, by spending time with him in prayer. He also wants us to get involved in our church. God wants to strengthen us so that we can stand up to temptation. He wants us to be able to stand up for what's right and speak the truth in love. Christian babies can't always do that, but strong Christians can. God doesn't want us to stay spiritual babies. He needs followers who want to learn more about him, to grow in their relationship with him. We need to exercise our faith through prayer, through service to others, and through love, so that we can be healthy and strong parts of the body of Christ. Let's commit ourselves to growing up in Jesus. Let's set aside time to pray, to read the Bible, to go to church, get involved in serving others and look for opportunities to show God's love to others. By doing these things, we grow in our relationship with him. Then we no longer get tossed around by the waves. We will stand strong and do our part in the body of Christ. Let's pray and worship together. Dear God, help us to grow in our relationship with you, to grow in our faith and to be more like you. Remind us that we are all a part of your body the body of Christ. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.